What you got? A commemorative plaque of Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore, pretty cool. This was the largest sculpture ever done in the world, as far as I know, up to this point. Nobody could build anything like that now because of regulations and tree huggers. <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop today to sell my Mount Rushmore commemorative plaque. I'm looking to sell it to help out my brother. I'm looking to get $1,000. The least that I'll take for it, maybe $900. Where did you get this thing? Actually, I inherited this. Mount Rushmore by Lincoln Borglum. All right, do you know anything about it? Goosen Borglum was the guy that actually carved out the four presidents at Mount Rushmore. The son, Lincoln Borglum, you know, his father died. So he finished Mount Rushmore in October 1941. So this was done by his son? Yes, Lincoln Borglum did this one. It was a tribute to his father. OK. Most people don't realize Mount Rushmore wasn't publicly financed. So he got donations for it. Yeah. It was an amazing project. I know the noses are like 20 feet long. They did some really interesting techniques to do it. There was blasting, there was jackhammers. He picked Washington, the founder of the country. Right. Jefferson, the founder of the laws of our country. OK. Lincoln started equality. Right. Uh, Roosevelt, that was basically who made us a world power. This is one of the greatest landmarks in the United States. It took hundreds of men, thousands of pounds of dynamite, and took 14 years to complete. This right here says it's pure silver? Yes, it's 30.8 ounces. Stamp 999 silver right there. So Correct. there is close to $1,000 worth of silver here. And yeah, I can melt it. No, 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 <laughs> don't melt it. You'll never lose buying precious metals. That's why we call this place the gold and silver, not the copper and lead. Actually, copper's over $3 a pound. So I'd probably take that, too. What are you trying to do with it? Trying to sell it. How much you looking to get out of it, sir? Well, I was looking to get $1,000 on it. 800 would be better. It's more than $800 worth of silver in there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're right in the ballpark. Can I give you 900 bucks? How about 950? 950 we can do. People will pay good money for a collectible like this. And even if it doesn't sell, the value of the silver is worth more than I paid anyway. So I feel pretty good. Hey, Rick, we should scrap this. It's a hunk of silver. We'll be able to sell it and make a profit, Dad. Earlier, we bought a replica of Mount Rushmore made out of pure silver. I think it's pretty cool, but the old man just wants to scrap it. If we scrap it, we get our money right away. It scraps for 1000 If I hang it on the wall, I'll get 1500 bucks for it. Rick, you know my favorite thing in the world is silver. Silver's at a pretty good price right now. If you go down, I'm going to end up losing money on the damn thing. Trust me, there is someone out there who wants this. They will see it, they will fall in love, they will buy it. OK, Rick, we'll agree to disagree. That's it. I have a feeling this is not going to be the end of it. Sort and scrap? Yep. One of the things my dad loves to do around here is sort through the silver. He wants to figure out what gets scrapped, what gets sold in the showcase. Then this definitely should not be here. Why not? Because I could sell it for more than the scrap. I don't know why you want to scrap all the silver. It's just weird to scrap it to begin with, all right? The way I see it, we scrap it and profit automatically. The only thing my idiot son does automatically is lose hair. It's silver, son. You can't scrap George Washington. Why not? Because you can't. It's wrong. 